So it's a reading for Sagittarius or whoever is watching. Spirit, what are the messages you have for Sagittarius or whoever is watching? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. <clears throat> what is the messages you have for Sagittarius? Queen of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Somebody could be missing you. Like somebody could be missing like your nurturing energy because the Queen of Pentacles is like very nurturing, kind, loving, always takes care of people. Ten of Cups, yeah. It's like when you're not around, somebody is missing you. See you guys being very successful here with the Queen of Pentacles, Six of Wands. So some of you guys could be getting like a pay raise or something like that. Somebody could regret something they said to you or did to you. They could be trying to come in like apologize to you here. <clears throat> King of Pentacles reverse. Hmm, so this could be like a partner. Somebody you could have a family with, kids with. This person doesn't feel grounded when you're not around. So it's like when they're around you, they feel grounded. But when you're like gone, they don't feel very grounded. <clears throat> I feel like this person is starting to get clarity on this. Like, oh, they're holding back. So this person wants to come in, offer you romance, be very loving. Um, speak to you, but they're holding back. So, or this person feels like you're holding back communication. One of the two. Um, so they're going to manifest something. Oh, this person feels like left out in the cold. So this person wants to take action towards you. This person's like heartbroken over this. They could also be getting clarity that something they did to you, something they said to you, um, or by not treating you right or something caused you to be heartbroken. They're starting to understand that their ways. So this person really wants to communicate with you. Hmm. So this person could have been, okay, so since they're the King of Pentacles reverse, they could have been trying to be like non-committal. This keeps coming out in your damn readings. This is somebody who wanted to just be free, chase their passions, have their options open, and they're starting to understand that that hurt you. Yeah, it caused a tower. Like you could have expressed your feelings to this person and said, hey, you know, like by you keeping your options open here, you're causing like emotional, like this person was causing you like emotional distress or something. And then it caused a tower. This person still wants to return after this tower. Mm. Now this person views you as their Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. They're, this person is getting some type of clarity with that Ace of Swords. Like, it's like they could be getting like clarity from spirit. Like, man, what I did to Sagittarius was wrong. Because this person doesn't want you to move on. They view you as the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. a lot of like wanting to talk to you wanting to and they want you to drop your guard this person knows you're very guarded and you're in the queen of cups reverse so you could be like really emotional this person wants to return they're thinking of the past the good times you guys had oh wow the king and the queen of cups so both of you guys are like going through it so it's not just you
This person does love you, but they just, it's like they didn't treat you right. It's like maybe this person doesn't know how to love right. It's weird. It's like... Yeah, you're dealing with somebody who's very egotistical here. This is a very egotistical person. Yeah, they were being non-committal. Yeah, I, one of you, it's like I think you got pissed at this person. You're like, okay, you want to have your wish fulfillment? You want to be stubborn? Then fuck you. Like, I'm not going to invest in this. I think you told this person off is what I'm seeing. I feel, I feel like this is a repeating story. You told somebody off. You're like, okay, well, if you're not going to invest in this and build with me, grow with me, then I'm out of here. Yeah, you queen of swords them. You, you brought the sword out. Yep, and you let go. You're no longer holding on to this. So whoever this is, if you're a cross watcher for Sagittarius, they're they're done. <laughs> um they they feel like you're okay, so if you're a cross watcher and you were non committal to a Sag, they feel like you're selfish. They feel like you didn't weren't investing right, so they cut you. You're being cut. Being cut off here. Yeah, and now this person's worried. This person's having stress, anxiety, worry. Yeah, because they know you're walking away. This person doesn't want you to leave. Yeah, they're burdened. This, so this person's burdened. Um, they're up late at night thinking about you, you know, realizing you're leaving. There they are laying in bed. Again, thinking about this. They want to heal things with you. <clears throat> they want to come back in. So they're thinking, well... I need to come back in and give to Sagittarius, but they're still non-committal. <laughs> so it's like they, they're realizing that they need to give you equal give and take, but by not offering you a commitment or a solid foundation, it's just going to be a burden. This relationship can't grow if there's not two people on the same page that, you know, I feel like this person didn't really show you emotions either. They could have been like suppressing their feelings or emotions for you and not really telling you how much they love you or appreciate you. Because I see that you're somebody who not only, you're, it's like you were healing to this person. You could have been helping this person in more than one way. Like, you were very generous to whoever this is. You were very giving, very kind, very loving. You know, especially with that Queen of Pentacles. She is like, so like she gives to everybody. She takes care of the damn animals. She takes care of the kids, the family, the lover, like, uh, the King of Pentacles in the reverse is just somebody who's a selfish asshole and is letting the Queen of Pentacles do everything. And so this person could be getting, like, realization on this. This person also, I feel like, was holding on to somebody from the past. And you figured that out. Like, you, you could have been under, like, an illusion with this person. And then you figured it out that this person was, like, holding on to a third party. Or that they needed to heal from a third party. But it's like, they don't want things to end with you. But they didn't want things to end with somebody else, too, it kind of looks like. Yeah, I feel like you're just tired of working on this. You're like, I'm not going to put any more time effort into this like I'm done this person also didn't like your independence this person didn't like that you were independent um, didn't like you were a hard, hard worker yeah they were jealous of that this person is very jealous of your independence your work effort you know like this is king of wands Yeah, so this person was just like, okay, so this was somebody who didn't really take your feelings into consideration. It's just like, they're they're also just like, okay, well, screw it. I'll go off to something new. They like to play a lot of mind games, too, with you. Um, yeah, this was somebody who was not choosing to build a life with you. Like, they weren't 
working with you to build this life. Yeah, this person was lying and deceiving you about something too. Yeah, it's like you got an epiphany on this person, like what their real agenda was with you. Like a light bulb moment, like all things done in the dark come to the light here. Yeah, it's almost like this person was just like, screw it. Like, um, instead of doing right by you. And building with you and working with you to make you happy. It's like they, they're just like, screw it. They'll move on and go try to find new love too. But see what's about to happen though. <laughs> what's about to happen is person. So when I see the justice and these two close to each other, I always tell you all this. You're about to get new love or new love and new money. So be expecting like... A financial increase, which I've seen with the Queen of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and then the Ace of Cups. So, um, Spirit has sided with you. Because this person did you dirty, they lied to you, they betrayed you, um, you're being pushed into your destiny here, okay? And this person, by this person being non-committal and indecisive on you, they were keeping you in this devil energy. So, they were keeping you in this very toxic devil type energy. Um, and they don't realize it, but you're about to go get everything you wished for. Um, yeah, this person was indecisive. They were playing you like they wanted to have their cake and eat it too. They didn't want to commit to you. Um, so they're just like back and forth, back and forth, very like indecisive and emotional, but that's the devil. You know, there's actually a scripture that says something about this. It says, um... I think it talks about like not making a decision is a decision and how it will lead like to your own destruction, something like that. Because see what comes with God, when it comes from God, it comes with clarity and what comes with the devil, it comes with confusion. This person was keeping you constantly in a state of confusion. You didn't know where they were going, like what they were thinking and they suppressed all that and there's something about this person's under some type of illusion by this devil energy where they constantly, instead of appreciating appreciating what God gave them, which was you right in front of them, because you were a huge blessing to this person, I can tell. Instead of building with that and helping that grow, they're constantly looking for the next best thing. And so it's like you're going to be plunged into your destiny, into this new love, new finances, um, and this person's going to be stuck back here in this devil energy. Yeah, they wanted to be the knight of wands. They wanted to just go in and out, be ran by their passions, non-committal. Yeah, look, they did not want to be the knight of pentacles. They're, it's in the reverse. So this is somebody who was just here for a good time, not a long term, a long time. And I think you called them out on it. And you're like, um, I'm going to now guard myself. I'm protecting myself. I'm protecting my energy. Um, cause I know what you're doing, but this person was also stopping you from moving to your destiny because the will is reversed. It's a lot of reversed energy of this person feeling like they have unfinished business coming back. They don't want you to leave. So this person's now doing some soul searching here. They are going to try to come back, apologize to you. Oh, wow. This person is going <laughs> to, this is what this person's actually realizing. Wow. So they're actually realizing that you were their divine counterpart. This is crazy. This person's realizing, like I said, I, I seen earlier in the reading with the Ace of Swords, they were coming to some type of like clarity and realization that you were their person. They were looking for love in all the wrong places and they had the perfect love right in front of them. This person's coming to realize that. But I can tell you this too, though. If they don't come to this realization, this is going to be you with somebody else. <clears throat> because you're gifted. You have the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, which lets me know that God, Spirit, gave this person you. 
But if they don't treat you right, then God and spirit will put you with somebody who will. So it's like this person is getting some type of clarity that you are their significant other. So you guys needed time away, um, I feel like, from this person for them to get that clarity. <clears throat> Let me pull some oracles. Co-create. Yeah, in order for this relationship to work, it needs spirits trying to clean it up. So spirits trying to clean this relationship up. Yeah, you just need to stay in your empress energy, whether you're male or female. Don't take any action. The empress chases nothing. She she's feminine, so you need to stay. Whether you're male or female, stay in your feminine energy, receiving. Yeah, in between worlds. Yeah, a higher power is taking over this. So you don't need to take any action. You don't need to text. You don't need to call. Just let spirit take care of it. They are going to come back. This person's going to come back around. Oh, see, you know what? This person thought that you weren't the one. But God is starting to show this person that you are the one for them. They might have thought you weren't. But now they're starting, like God is starting to give this person clarity that you are the one for them. Yeah, look. New life. This person's watching you too to see if you are getting involved in anything new. Which I don't feel like you are. I feel like you're just working on yourself, your career. Um, you're choosing to stay happy no matter what. Yeah, look. This person's starting to realize that their happiness is with you. So when they're not with you, they feel very alone. But when they're with you, they're very happy. So they're starting to realize that um, in order to be with you, they need to be loyal. Yeah, what did I tell you? When they're not with you, they feel very alone, orphaned. <laughs> this person misses you. Like, when you guys aren't together, it's a huge void. I feel like both of you probably miss each other. And then we have serendipity. So it's like this this relationship's going to ascend to a higher level. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like if if they don't make the choice to choose you or to write by you, you will leave. You you will leave. Yeah, you'll take off. And I think that's what you're doing right now. <laughs> I think you're like in this energy of like, I know my worth. I know I'm the empress, whether you're male or female. And I'm going. I will go find my luck somewhere else. Like, I'll, I will just go. Like, this is a lot of like, this is three chicks, okay? And they're all floating off somewhere. <laughs> Like, they're just going. They got somewhere to be. Yeah. Look, you, you're, it's like you're running away from this because you you don't feel appreciated. And then, yeah, it's like you got you got a message from spirit. Like, the, this person could have been trying to keep you around um, and have all the lovely benefits of you without committing to you. And you got clarity on that and you ran off. That's what I feel like you're doing. Um because you know your worth and you and you're whoever I'm reading for you're a very strong manifester so it would be like not hard for you at all to manifest another partner another soulmate um yeah deep knowing you had a deep knowing that this person wasn't acting right yeah like you wanted them to build with you and it's like you made a choice here this fork in the road you're like if you don't want to build with me then I'll go off somewhere else community exchanging gifts yeah see you were helping this person so whoever this is it's their loss because man I don't know if you what all you are doing with this person but you helped them you were giving them a leg up you were giving to them here working with them here like you were you were willing to work with this person give to this person um, and really help this person in ways that other people wouldn't. So it's really weird that, um, you know, I feel like you were a gift to this person and they just shit on you or something. It's really weird. Now I'm being told to ask about a new love. I'm hearing Aries. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries, uh, or a Taurus. Who is this new love? 
I'm picking up on for Sagittarius or whoever's watching. Because I'm hearing new love. And I heard the word Aries and Taurus. Who is this new love? Who is this other energy I'm feeling for Sagittarius? Mm, Six of Wands. Getting a lot of attention. Somebody thinks you're very good looking. Very pretty. Whether you're male or female. Oh yeah, they see you as the Empress. This person knows who you are right away. Like Taurus... Uh, Leo Virgo somebody's got their eye on you and they're like oh my god they're so pretty or he's so good looking yeah look a soulmate you have another soulmate coming in here so um cancer energy yeah this person views you in a very high light Virgo energy oh you manifested this person see so this other person they're probably about to lose you because you have somebody else here who sees you. Look, the star, Aquarius energy. Somebody really sees your worth and your value. Like, they don't have to sit around and, and get, like, clarity from God of what type of blessing you are. This person sees you one time and they're like, oh, yep, I see who they are. So somebody is coming in who, like, really sees who you are and sees your value. Wow. So you have an angel bringing this person in so you have angels doing alchemy to bring you together with a soul a new soulmate here yeah look you're going into a new timeline wow this person could be at a distance yeah they could be at a distance you're moving right into a new soulmate like you just want peace love yeah and as soon as you move on look who shows up here look who's showing up this selfish individual in the past that didn't treat you like treat you right look at this person this is somebody who will have their own finances and instead of spending a dime on you they'll keep it for themselves you were dealing with a selfish person was you guys paying for everything in, in your past relationship like this is somebody who's very greedy like they'll have their own they didn't give to you did they they were very very uh self-centered they didn't see what a gift you were this, also, this person coming in could be like a younger fire sign. Yeah, it's an Aries Leo Sag. This is somebody who, as soon as they see you too, um, they don't want to let go of you. So they're in the energy of like mine, this new person will be, because they see your value. So it's like instantly, instead of being like greedy and selfish, the only thing this new person wants to be selfish with is you. <laughs> so they're like you belong like not so much like you're a possession but they just don't want to lose you because they know your value they're holding they're going to hold you really close to their chest because they're like oh Sagittarius is mine like Sagittarius is amazing and I'm picking up on a younger fire energy or maybe you're the younger one but yeah look it is the younger type energy Ooh. You're going to put it into the past. Okay, so when this new person comes in, this past person will try to come back and offer you an apology. But it's like, I don't know if you're going to accept their offer. I feel like you're done putting time and energy into the past. Yeah, you're going to have a choice to make between the new and the past because they're, they're probably both going to come in at the same time. This past person is going to come in and try to offer you a brand new passionate beginning. And I feel like you're tired of that. Like you don't just want passion. Like you want marriage, stability, like love. And that's what this past person wasn't giving you. Oh, wow. Now the past person is going to try to return and offer you wish fulfillment and work and build with you. So that's why you're going to be indecisive. Yeah, they're going to say, oh, I want to get things moving in your favor here. And, are, and they want to drop their guard. Okay, so you're going to have a choice to make. They're trying to overrule the new person. I can tell they're, they're yeah, they're going to, they're trying to overtake the reading. They don't want to talk, want to hear about this new love. So this past person is very... Oh, now they want to offer you stability. Now they want to offer you a commitment and stop lying to you. <laughs> and stop being sneaky. 
because they have a fear you're going to leave. This person, this past person has a fear that if they lose you, they're going to lose their Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they have a fear you're going to move on with another love. So now this per this past person is going to rush in, finally show their emotions, and finally commit to you. Because they have a fear that they're losing you. Oh, now they're going to try to offer you a commitment. Yeah, and they've realized they've got to give more to you. They have to give you equal give and take and a commitment. Now, I also see with this new person, this is the exact same thing that's going to happen with the new person. So that's why, that's the only reason I see you guys even going back and forth with this decision. Because had this past person came in on the same bullshit, you were just going to leave. Now they're coming back with a commitment. And so is the new person. But the difference is, the new person wanted to commit to you from day one because they've seen your worth. This other person had to go through some type of spiritual like awakening or something. Yeah, and here you are very guarded. You're like, mm, I don't know if I believe this. I just, yeah. Your past person's also very protective over you because they know how loving and kind you are. They know that if they lose you, that they're losing somebody who's very loving. Oh, and they know you have a shit ton of options here. Yeah, you got a lot of choices when it comes to love. And you're trying to use your discernment here and weed out the freaking scallywags and hoe cakes. <laughs> yeah, this past person wants to come in and um, reunite with you. But you have another soulmate coming in who wants to choose you from day one. Aries energy. Pisces energy. They view you as their family. Yeah, somebody who's been holding back has gotten clarity on who you are to them. We got Leo, Gemini, and now they want to come in and like romance you here. Mm -hmm. See this past person? They see you looking fine, pretty. Well, Five of Wands just fell. They're very jealous. They want to fight for you. So your past person's in the Five of Wands, Five of Cups. They're stalking you, watching you, and they know they have competition for you. And, um, they know you're about to get a new love and they, they're going to try to come in and stop it, prevent it from happening. Yeah, this person, this past person is getting some type of clarity that they need to come in and heal things with you. Yeah, because there was some time, they broke your heart. This past person really hurt you. And they see that you're healing and moving on. And so they want to come in. Yeah, because they know if they know that you're fixing to get new love. It's due to you. This is karmic justice. Like God and ancestors have ruled in your favor because you were the one who was hurt. You were the one who I feel like gave and gave and gave to this person and they didn't do right by you. And so now they want to come back. Yeah, they're going to rush in really quickly here. But you also have another energy. This past person wants to come in, but you also have this Aries energy who wants to come in. That's a new love. Um, and they, they're standing on business. So it's like a new, new fire energy. Yeah, you're going to reject anybody who doesn't come in. There, see how there's these three energies? So you can have up to three people. But you want the Knight of Pentacles, the one coming with the commitment. That's the only offer you're going to accept. Mm -hmm. This past person is going to come in and stop playing games with you. Because they don't want things to completely end. They're really worried. But you do have another lover, I'm telling you. It's some type of um, younger fire type energy or maybe younger water. So you're going to have a choice to make. Gemini, Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Capricorn, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius, Pisces, Libra, Capricorn. You see this Aries energy with the lovers? There's a you have a new lover coming. We got that. I told you it's an Aries, Taurus, it's a lovers, a new lover coming in. They have it somewhere in their chart. And then we have your intuition over here with this like devil type energy. 
um, and then Libra, that's the justice skills. Listen to your intuition. You know your worth, okay? Matter of fact, what would this past person say? What would this past person say? Let the past go. Can we rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down by life? Our past holds us back from our future. So they want to let go of the past. They want you to forget what they've done. Shit like that. You hurt me. Everything that happened hurt me so much. I need more time to heal. Oh, so they're playing the victim. They act like you hurt them. Unclear. I don't know how I feel about this connection anymore. You feel like home. Being with you reminds me of simpler times. You bring so much happiness. Yeah. See, I, I see that. When they're in the Five of Cups, but then when they're with you, they're in the Ten of Cups. So you make this person happy. I don't know what it's such a why it's so hard for them to piece this together. Let me go. You deserve all the good things in this world. And right now, I'm not in the space to give you this type of connection you deserve. Live your life and let me go. Jealousy. I'm very jealous. I can barely stand it. So I've seen that. They are very jealous. It's on. I see you looking good and moving on. I don't care who you are talking to. I'm better. I will compete for you. <laughs> so you are dealing with somebody who is just like batshit crazy. Let them go. Well, wait. No, no, no. Don't let me go because I'm jealous and I see you with somebody else. Now I'm going to come back and compete. So there's something about this person's going to return, like, after they see you move on. Mother wounds. My mother is a big influence of my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to divine feminine energy within me and externally. Yeah, this person had issues with their mother growing up, so they could have, like, a lot of childhood trauma. They probably don't, never had real love from their mom, so they don't really know what, what love is like, real love have my kids i want to have a family with you i know you'd be an amazing parent i dream of the day i can experience so this person also wants you to have their kids now you are my favorite you are the person i want to call when something bad or good happens the first thought when i have news to share you are my person mm. this is kind of alarming because it says you are my favorite well who the hell are the others and that's what I've seen. This person want, likes to have other options, but you're their favorite. Like, you should be the only one, not the damn favorite. <laughs> but this person does like, when something happens, they like to call. Like, so you guys could have been, like, really good friends and lovers. This isn't goodbye. I don't want to walk away, but it's what's best for me right now. This isn't goodbye. We will be together again soon. No one compares. No matter how many people I've met and experienced, I have never met anyone who compares to you. Feeling lost. I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore, and it's easier to just stay silent. Yeah, so you guys are in no contact with this person. Not the right time. I'm overwhelmed with responsibilities. I don't have the time or energy for a relationship. See, that's what the problem was with this person. They wanted to just keep you as, as friends with benefits or something. But you're the empress. You can't put an empress or an emperor on hold like that. And so even they know that you deserve better. <clears throat> it's simple, really. How do I feel? I want us forever. Yeah, this person wants, wants you to stick around for them. You are mysterious. I can never seem to figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. Never really know where I stand with you. Yeah, so because this person doesn't give you, like, stability and clarity and shit, they don't understand you. Like, I, you probably shut down on them. But you're not being mysterious. You're just probably trying to prevent yourself from cussing them out and telling them what time it is. <laughs> I feel like you already did that. And that's probably why you're not talking to them right now. Will you listen? There's so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me out? Will you believe me? No, I don't feel like you do believe them. <laughs> they want you to hear them out. Focused on money. I'm currently focusing on career and finances. My main pr priority is financial stability. 
nervous. You make me nervous. Even just thinking about you, I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you. Yeah, because you don't cuss them out. You, I feel like you are. It says, you are so smart. Your intellect really turns me on. You're smart, and I really enjoy our conversations. I tell me to pull one more. I'm single right now. I'm not attached to anyone, and I'm not looking to get in a relationship. Yeah, so this person is single. They're not with anybody else. Okay, so. All right, so that's that. You made this person nervous, probably because you done cussed them out. I know y'all's mouse, and good for you. No. <laughs> Um, let's pull, okay, let me see if I can pick up one on the new person, because there is like a soulmate and twin flame card in this deck. So, Spirit, what do they need to know about this new person who's coming in? Holy shit, look at that. Twin flame. You activated my soul to find my true purpose and destiny in life. You helped me heal in ways no one else could. Thank you for finding me again this time around. So you are fixing to be with a twin flame. Somebody's coming in who's a twin flame. Uh, yeah, I don't want to pull anymore because I really feel like that was just it. Yeah, they're telling me not to pull anymore. They're telling me to stop that shit. You know how like those who watch me for a long time, I have a really hard time. Like I'm like, I'm just going to pull one more and then I pull like 10. They told me not to do that. So, the next person you're meeting is some type of Twin Flame soulmate, and it's going to be like a very intense relationship. So, here's some signs, or I already did the signs. Here's some numbers. Ooh, look at that. 10, 10. Ooh, wee. 10, 10. <laughs> so, holy shit. You have the 11, 11, the Twin Flame, and 777, seven, seven, Divine. I've been seeing 777 seven, seven everywhere here lately. Like, everywhere. So that means something. So we have 1111 and then 777. That's crazy. And I just realized, you notice how they didn't have me roll the dice until after I pulled these cards? It's because they wanted to clarify that this new person coming in is your twin flame. And I'm getting that they're younger than you or you're younger than them. There could be an age gap. And, um... Spirit wants you to know that that's because you, you guys are going to be so connected because you've been together in multiple past lives. So don't worry about the age gap is what I'm hearing. But this is being led to you by the divine, 777. Also, a lot of you guys are spiritual teachers and are learning things so that you can teach others. If you've already graduated some type of schooling or learned enough spiritual knowledge they're now telling you it's time to put yourself out there um because it's your it's now your turn to it's time to share the knowledge damn it is what i'm trying to say <laughs> and if you look here goes 11 11 here on the side so again 11 11 so there's a huge presence of a soulmate here and also that you guys are going through like a spiritual awakening okay so have a good one love you guys